I'm marking a lot of bait lower in the water column, so the fish will be holding on that. We've got the two live bait out on the outriggers. They're just on the surface or a metre or two under, just swimming along nicely, but a really effective way to fish in any form of fishing is to take your stuff down to them. So I'll use the electric downrigger there. So I'll send the bait down 50 metres or so, and quite often that will get you the bite. If the fish won't come up to us, we'll go down to them. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just free spooling him. Free spooling him. Come on. Come on. Alright, the bait's been eaten. Downrig is on its way up. It's eaten the deep bait. I'm just going to edge this up and just wind into him because it is a circle hook and hopefully we will feel weight. I've got weight there now. And the hardest thing to do is not to strike. It feels sharky at this stage, just heavy, not doing a lot, but there it is, it's a marlin. Yep, there he is. Out the back, just doing the windscreen wiper. I've still got a skip bait, oh sorry, a live bait, out on the other rigger. There he is, he hasn't done anything yet. There we go. Come on, do something, mate, do something. Fire up for us. That's a very classic striped marlin thing that hopefully the camera can pick up. A lot of the time the guys call it a windscreen wiper because they just sit there shaking that beak back and forth. It's amazing you get yourself organised. And if you're fairly organised, which I am, I've got the equaliser belt here. It's all adjusted, ready to roll. I've got tracing gloves right there where I need them. And this guy, he's just settled in now. What I can do here, just kick this motor out of gear. I've got a bit of junk on the floor. My daisy chain teaser, but I'll just kick all that out the way. Kick everything out the way and get that deck as nice and free as I can. Now I can up this drag. Oh, got a few head shakes here. He might come up for a jump. There's the wind on. I've got to get this boat going forward. There we go, there we go, here we are. Nice little stripe. Nice little stripe. I'm just gonna back these traps, they just look so cool. <laughs> just love marlin fishing. There's not an animal in the world that looks as good as a marlin lit up, I don't believe. He's on the right side now, and he was on that side, which was the downwind side. And that's really where I didn't want him because with the breeze blowing us onto the fish, he'll end up under the boat. Come on, come on. Here we go. In this situation, if you ever got a big fish and you're on your own or just two of you and you're not sure, if anything goes wrong, first thing to do, back the drag off, minimal pressure, and you won't bust the line then. That is just a beautiful fish. All right, I've got the fish here. Free spool ratchet on. I've got that leader, he's just laying there. Rod's there. I'm not gonna muck around, just. That easy, that's why you have a release knife. It doesn't stress the fish. We got him.